uh, the third day we're out. Um, we're just um, heading out for a, a morning stalk. It's just on uh, just on uh, daylight now. So uh, we're going to go back up the valley and go for a few bit of a walk, walk today. Um, we're going to go one where uh, Robbie shot the deer last night. It splits into two, so um, we're going to sort of hunt either uh, either side of it. So. Today I planned on putting in a huge day, heading up the same valley and catchment when we came across heaps of deer sign and we Robbie shot his doe the day before. My plan was to walk upstream and then turn north into an intersecting valley that led up to a saddle in the hope of finding a well used game trail for the deer we're using to traverse between the two catchments, the one I was in and the one on the other side of the ridgeline. So I just heard a shot fairly close. Um, I think it's probably James, he's on the other side. Um, he's on the other side of the river from me. Um, we're both sort of sidling up through this valley. Um, so I think, I think that was probably him. Uh, just one shot, so he's, he's probably down it. Some pretty thick country here, but it's, um, it's still green as eh? Good. Keep walking. Just come into this big clearing. Blast around it for about 20 minutes. Saw nothing in there. And then come on in. Um, found this huge wallow over here. It's behind me. Um, it's all muddied up and everything, so it's pretty fresh. And she's, um, there's fresh tracks and everything in here. You smell it. You really, you really smell them. But the mud hasn't even dried or anything around the outside of it, so it's been in there thrown around. But... So I've just got a hold of James on the two ways, just shot a small doe. Um, so I'm gonna keep going up, head up the valley. The amount of sign, both stag and hind, was incredible to see, and tracks which were laid possibly only minutes or hours prior to me discovering them. This just added to the excitement and the anticipation of the hunt. I just spooked a massive doe. It's still sitting up here. Obviously bedded down in here, it's come up from the river. It's about uh, nine o'clock, quarter past nine. I was spooked as I was coming through all this dry shit. She's still up there somewhere. Unbelievable, gave me out of the front. I can't believe that bloody big doe, big, big doe. But I, um, I started when I was walking up. It was just like super dry. And um, I just wanted to get some elevation, so I thought Robbie was up higher. Um, and um, sure enough, I, um, Got some elevation all right and spook the living hell out of it. And me, that's what that matter. We decided to make a plan to meet up and use the Garmin in reach to pinpoint each other's location. By this stage, we'd progressed about six kilometers up the valley system and had planned to then turn north and hunt a secondary gully whereby we could both stick to the ridge lines on either side that led up to the saddle. Once I got to our meeting point and waited for Robbie, I decided to take this opportunity to get some fluids into me and have a break after the last five hours of pushing up through the valley. The water running through these mountain streams is beautifully clear and tastes great. 
The bush, mosses and other flora acts as nature's filter when it comes to drinkable stream water. So I took advantage of this every opportunity I had. I'm just going to find a spot, probably glass all around these, um, this space. To see if I can't see something, not bedded down. There's trails that lead up there as well, so they're obviously traversing up and back down into here. And you can definitely see that little sign around, there's rub trees everywhere. Come across this huge game trail. I've been walking on and out for about 20 minutes. It's shot! What's a shot of me? We just got lined up. Oh god, we just climbed up, um. I'm shaking. We just climbed up this, um. This valley, we've got about 80 odd meters, 90 meters in elevation. We're going for about 2Ks. And all I can see was. Head shot! Oh. oh. I'm gonna go have a look. Holy shit. I was walking down a game trail. I was walking down this game trail and I just, all I could see were these antlers. And I'm just like, can nah, it can't be right. And I just, I kept looking, I kept looking. I just had the rifle on And he, uh, he moved his head. And then he stepped, took a step forward. And then all I could see was his head. Like I saw his head on top of his shoulders. And, uh, I thought, bugger it, I'm taking him. Oh, here he is. Oh, 
<laughs> oh my god. I bet she's about to run it. I've got a spear. Oh. Holy shit. High five, brother! Woo! Hello, mate. Oh. Oh, my first tag! Where is he? Oh! Oh, I can't believe it! Oh! oh. Yeah, the hard work to start. Yeah, we've got some work to do. Hope, hope you're there. feeling fit, mate. I had a bit of Rick be getting up here. Oh man. I was shaking. Still am. <laughs> oh wow. So this is what I was saying. Like, we just got to go find a little side gully and yeah. come up with little side gullies. I was following like that. that there's just a, a massive one single big game trail all up through here. And um, I kept, I was walking, I walked, walked for maybe 30 seconds to stop, walked 30 seconds to stop. And then um, I looked, I looked, I've gone, it's a fucking set of hands, look at that, I've got the car, we put the rifle up, had a look, So I sat there and just how like, just kept the scope on. And he, um, I thought, it's not worth it, like he's dead still. And then he just did this, just turned his head and took two, like a step, or maybe two steps forward and brought up his head and his upper body, but I couldn't think of the front off. So, uh, I thought rather than, and it was only, shit, 30, 40 meters? Top of the skull. Wow. Here's my stag, first time of stag. Couldn't be happier. And uh, what a rush. It's raining. And it's pouring down with rain, it's soaking wet. Couldn't be happier. Now we're, uh, we're gonna pack this out, skull cap them. And uh, it'll be a well-deserved beer by the time we get back to camp sometime later this afternoon. It's about uh, what, 11 o'clock, I think. Uh, day three. Midday. Day three, seven to go. So we've, uh, we've cut up the deer, because it was a headshot. Um, there was no damage to like shoulder or anything, so we've packed out all four quarters. Um, back straps, undercuts, neck meat, uh, and uh, skull cap and antlers. And, um, I'm doing it a bit tough. Fortunately, most of it's downhill, which is easy. But we're probably packing about 40, at least 40 kilos, if not more, on our backs at the moment. So, it's not easy. But no one ever said it was. And uh, that's what happens when you go and shoot a stag, I suppose. It's a terrible problem to have. Hey, Robbie, how you going, mate? Yeah, feeling it. Yeah. Bit of weight. There is a bit of weight. It's a bit foggy and humid down in here. We just had a big rain. Probably the camera footage isn't going to be any good. The lens is all fogged up. But she's, uh, we're soaked through to the bone, basically. Right. We made it back to the track. After about six kilometers of walking through some pretty nasty shit carrying this deer out. It took us six hours to cover the seven kilometer hike back to camp. The weather turned in on us during this time to a fairly violent thunder and lightning storm and a rain downpour, only then to clear and provide us with some warmth. This journey was an extreme test of resilience, having to overcome our fatigue, which was exacerbated by the steep and thick terrain we were in. 
It was certainly a real test of body and of mind, but despite this was one of the most memorable days and thoroughly enjoyable that I've had during my lifetime. It's been an extremely memorable day, one that I'll never forget for many reasons other than just shooting a deer. Robbie's giving me a look, I've got to go. So uh, this is today's effort. Uh, we finally made it back to camp. And um, yeah, I've got my Sam stag head, um, which I'm quite happy with. It's been an epic day. All on all this and the meat out is um, pretty hard to say, which would be an understatement. But um, yeah, for a first, uh, first time in here, um, first stag, first Sam stag I've ever shot. Um, the Tika uh, 308. Um, yeah, it was literally, it was uh, um, yeah, epic, pretty much, one way to sum it up. And um, certainly something that I, uh, I will never forget for a lifetime. It's, uh, today was um, just one of those days that, uh, you know, you, you, you just never forget. Um, it was almost surreal. Um, so, yeah, happy days. Day three. Day three, and we've got one down, one stag on the deck and a couple of does. So, game on. As we sat round the campfire that night, stories of the day's adventure were told, including that of the doe that James managed to put in a successful hunt on. It was a great time to reflect on what had so far been a trip that had exceeded all of my expectations and hopes, and I counted myself extremely fortunate to experience this amazing part of the country with good friends and fellow hunters.